quick introduction to the pen tool probably one of the most used tools in Photoshop apart from the brush um, it's very useful for a lot of different things um, the pen tool here this is where it's located and um, yeah it's used for vectoring mainly like the character here that I did not create um, and um, other things like that you can use it for um, adding shading to your things but I'll show you that in a sec anyway um, when you click the pen tool go to the top just under file edit and image and all that uh, yours should be highlighted on shape layers um, go to the one next to it on the right and click path layers um, if you do shape obviously if I do that it would be a shape following the lines okay so I'm just gonna get rid of that so if that's the problem you have you're on the wrong one go to that one to the right and it just does selection okay we've got that done right this is just um snake in a chibi style so what i'm going to do is just zoom in a little um zoom in I'll zoom out to the eye so i'm just going to quickly use this um on an eye you see like that it's not maybe fantastic see so under it do the point and then you will move your mouse to make it perfectly straight uh then when you're happy with that you would click uh I'm not happy with that because I can't see. Right, there you go. Right. So when you've done that line, then you press Alt and you will see your mouse change to that little arrow, see? And that this um, sets the next dot up, basically. So this eye might take a few to do. Actually, this one, do one there. Move that up. Move that. there so you can take more care of it I'm just doing it quite quickly um, make sure you're doing this on a new layer then what you do is um, you're going to use it as a brush so get your brush and change it to the size you want I'm just going to show it to you so I'm just going to do quite a big brush I'm using about six um, pixel size anyway so on the brush tool so you've done your selection it's like this so what you do now is right click and then you gotta have that layer to be seen actually there so it's right click and stroke path okay um, if you want that to be a whole color you just do that and then do fill path and there you go so if you want a block shape but if you don't want that you will I want to change that to about now you right click and then do stroke and it just puts a line around it. You can change um, the tool that you're going to use. Maybe you want to use the blur, so you want to maybe blur a part of the face. You select the part that you want to blur, and just does it. It's a lot easier than using the brush to blur. Some bits um, is easier using the pencil, so it's very handy for things like that. So I'm just going to use the brush, no simulated pressure, um, and then click OK. And as you can see on my original, there it is. So I'm going to take it away. So. Um, now you've got that line there, you want to get rid of it. So all you do is right click and then do delete path, okay? And there you go. You've got your uh, basic line there. Um, if you want that line to be a different color, when you stroke it, you change um, the color, the foreground color. So there you go. Uh, that's how you use the pen tool. Some other shapes might be harder to do, do the chin. But my advice would be take it a bit slower and for like even a circle maybe do quite a few more points than you usually would so you know you've got 100% correct. Um, yeah and um, it's used for a lot of things but outlining is one of them and that's all I did here. So hopefully um, this clears the pen tool up if you've never used it and maybe if you want to use it it's a very handy tool. I mean it's a necessity to know if you've got Photoshop. So this is the tutorial t for today, just using the pen tool, uh, brief introduction. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.